Hey, what's up guys? Bo HD here from PhoneDog.com, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. It's one of the biggest, most feature-packed smartphones we've seen thus far in 2020. And it's an absolute beast in terms of performance, as it's one of the very first smartphones to feature the new Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset. It's also got a refresh rate of up to 120 hertz, and that classic S Pen stylus for the productivity users who, I don't know, they want to sign documents, take notes, and I guess for digital artists who just want to draw with this digital stylus. But even with all these features, it checks so many boxes, it's not a phone that I could recommend for everyone, or I, I, at least I think that everyone will enjoy. And I think Samsung knows this, but at the same time, it's a little bit interesting uh, how they're choosing to market this phone more than the standard Galaxy Note 20 or other variants that are cheaper and might reach a wider audience. Now, before you get too offended, you start writing in the comments because you just got this phone, you think it's amazing. Uh, the issues with it are nothing too personal, so don't get too offended if you're in love with this phone. They're pretty fundamental issues. And the first is that it's a really big device. The display measures in at seven inches or 6.9 inches to be exact. And it's noticeably bigger than any other device that I've used in recent memory, the OnePlus 8 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Granted, you do get almost entirely display and no bezels to worry about, but it's still a big device and it makes it really difficult to navigate in a lot of situations and uh, especially with one hand. This is where it'll appeal to heavy productivity users and lose many casual smartphone users. The bigger display will obviously be able to display more information and make for a great content consuming experience. Once again, great for productivity users, but it comes at the cost of casual usage. Casually taking this phone out of your pocket uh, to reply to a text message or just quickly looking something up while you're in line at Home Depot, for example, it requires two hands. Another example would be laying in bed and using this phone is almost, I don't know, it's just very difficult unless you're laying on your back and holding this phone directly up uh, in front of you, up above you with two hands. Another issue that I think will be more universally accepted and understood at least, uh, and I do wanna credit Samsung for improving this dramatically over the years, is the accidental screen touches due to the curved edges of the display on this phone. So Samsung has actually opted in for completely flat display panels for its other Note 20 devices, but it kept the curved edges in the Note 20 Ultra, which look incredible, not gonna lie, and they help make this phone just feel more beautiful and premium. But unfortunately, that does come at the cost of accidentally pressing things that you don't want to press. And it makes things even more frustrating when trying to navigate such a large display. So for those two reasons alone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is not gonna be for everyone. As a tech reviewer, I review a lot of phones. I get a lot of phones in the studio to check out and surprise, many of them are on the big side. So it's saying something, I think, if uh, I think this is a big phone. And you know, just taking a step back, I, I think the reason why I'm making this video is not to shit on the Note 20 Ultra because I'm really not. Uh, I'm just trying to help those of you who might be on the fence about picking up this phone because if one-handed usability actually matters to you, you probably want to pick a different device. And that could still very well be the uh, a Note 20 device. It could be the standard Note 20 since it's a little bit smaller. But um, if you're thinking about the Note 20 Ultra, I just think it's important to consider how big it is. And you know, if you use your phone a lot, it could slow your productivity down actually, because you're gonna have to use two hands. But on the flip side, if you want the biggest display, you, you consume a ton of media, then this is gonna be one of the very best displays and one of the very best smartphones on the market for you. It's a feature rich phone in general that will easily last you a couple years before needing or even wanting to upgrade your phone. So just consider all these things that I mentioned and um, yeah, let me know what you're thinking. What are your thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? Let me know down below in a comment. With that said, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDug.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you right back here in the next one. See ya.